actually, but once they got in close melee, they should go in melee mode. At least I play that way. Doesn't matter, you go, go with the them anyway. Is dead. Well, I mean, but that's just one extra button you need to click. I'm not that much concerned about it. I'm more concerned about it actually enveloping the enemy. But as you know, that's the way you win in this morale damage. I'm kind of surprised how shit the... Okay, you just stop. How shit the ballistas are, or crossbowmen are. Then again, this wasn't, like, the best map for this. Up of a mountain. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Our units has used all its ammunition. Basically, the guys that that are standing in line and defending, I don't actually care what they do or if they're attacking. I just need them to stay there and hold the line while I use the other ones to uh, go around the enemy, flank them. So it doesn't really matter. cheap-ass phalanx got more kills than the fancy ones. Now, if this was on the harder difficulties, then I might need to go into actual defensive stances and all that. Get the full benefits. How the hell did that army survive, game? Come on. What kind of fucking icon is that? Oh, those two merged. Never mind. Any of their allies gonna declare war on me this time so I can get some money? So, so we can actually just abuse that. These people are concerned. Nope. So this is clear now. Well, except that he. Ah, shit, we can't make it there in one turn. God damn it. Uh, let's get going anyway this this way. Put your backs into it, you men! Ready for orders. Actually, these are plunged really well considering. Come this way. Or right, they're gonna pull the garrison. What's up, Sludge? Good day to you, too. I mean, sure, fine. We're gonna kill the garrison here so we don't have to deal with them later on. 
but uh, eh, do I want to fight this one? Yeah, those losses would be too much. Let's fight it. I'm gonna go take a piss while this loads. God, we have uh, M.2s and uh, SSDs these days, so the game load in real fast. Green, nope. Dry, yes. I'm gonna assume their reinforcements can come from their side, hopefully. They, they don't have elephants this time. I'm gonna let them like uh, get the reinforcements set up first so we can envelop them. Well, not easier, but uh, you know, just all at once. It'll be easier to wipe them all out that uh, that way. Let's actually keep the archers on the flanks. Some of them on the flanks at least. Ready and waiting. Ready and waiting. I am considered worthy of command. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Yeah, just let them come there so we can wipe them all out in one go. Romans ready for duty. Missile infantry! Seniors, look to your men now. Ready for orders. Stand up straight! You are warriors, not sacks of barley! You are warriors, not sacks of barley. <laughs> In what is about to come, Fortuna smile on us all. She usually does, lad. Principes! Melee infantry ready! <coughs> Has anyone got a drink? You guys are gonna take it for fucking ever to get there. Come on, come on. Doesn't help that they are all bunched up like that. Yeah, fierce warriors. Apparently Celts as well. Riberians. They're even fighting barefoot. How uncivilized. At least we have the Caligate.
Okay, apparently they're just gonna sit there, so I've been wasting my time and yours. Don't break formation! Mandata tua! Riders, forward! Lot of nothing against us. General. The, what the, are they stuck on the bush? What? No, the balance of power is even. Haha, <laughs> I laugh at that. Oh, these guys are gonna die horribly. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Oh no. Sorry. Oh no. Quickly now. Let's just start Riders, pelting them, pelting them with the crossbowmen. Oh, come on. Move. Get information. Yes. Yes, yes, I don't want to... I don't want them to piecemeal. I want to get an easy fight. Spearman, ready for oh, orders. What? We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Same stupid thing again. Look at that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Sandwich those. One of our These are already dead. Just stay there because they're gonna come back. You have orders, sir. Equities! Engage! Advance! Equities! Your orders! Orders! Yeah, they just run through like morons. Oh, look at this. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Caught, got caught up a little bit. Come on, come on. But this guy's Gini Militia ain't gonna have a good day. Ooh, improve, improve, inspire, inspire, rally, rally and inspire, everything, man. The commander wants to die, apparently. Sure, fine by me. No, 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 no. Stay where you are. Oh, 
Libyan spearman, my ass. There's no point in wasting both of those. But you... No, 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 no. Medium phalanx. You come back here and deal with them. Or actually, you just deal with them. you not? These guys ain't gonna stop chasing them. Could you not just squeeze through? The trash you are? Can you just go grab them? them there, get away. I can't tell which ones are actually like Kev, which ones are Shiari. Oh, the enemy general is dead. Oh no, they're flanking us. Whatever shall we do? As they get shot in the back. And there they go. Spread these out to catch the retreating enemies. And the general. Actually, just tell them to catch these. gone and there goes the whole army yeah that's it easy peasy let's actually stop these from firing You know the ballista, yeah. They're good, they're decent. Uh, let's see. Heavy shot. I mean, they always have heavy shot, right? Yeah, they, they basically their shot is heavy shot. That's it. Decent amount of kills this time. Actually, I only need them to dare to like shoot at the enemy skirmishers, more or less. Skirmisher cab, that is. So I don't need to chase them down all the time. Because they can do a decent amount of damage to your cab if you just let them sit there and do nothing. Shoot that you.
and will bark at the greatest general ever. Ever. Chargers head first into spear walls. Can we get there in this turn? Ready for battle. Not really. They can move back in case of there's a if the in case of a big army showing up out of nowhere. How may I serve you? But there shouldn't be. It is an honor to serve Rome. Yeah, we don't actually want you in the in For the city. Right, Jupiter and these ones. This army replenished, yes. I'm gonna keep them there for now. Make haste, men. I don't care how tired you are. Yes. Okay, this guy have four days. What about you? Eight days? Guess I can move them down here just to make sure these don't actually recruit anything. They're actually gonna st They're gonna stand and fight? Fine by me. It is an honor to serve We can take these with the navy, but uh, let's not. I want to get the battle in. Even though they're not gonna have have me. they have nothing. Only got two troops. This is gonna be fine if I hold it with uh, one of the. Right, let's move you this way. Move you back. Satisfaction in total wars. What in all total wars or just total war too? Because that's the hard question. I guess for Shogun 2, you would have the hardest time with the Iko Iki and the Otomo because they are a different religion. Here, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I know in Total War 1 that it was really hard to play the Germans. Rome 1, that is. Because uh, you get declared war on by the Gauls, by the Dacians, and whoever is this way, and on. on declare war on by Rome as well so it's kind of a little bit difficult because if you go one way down to deal with the Gauls for example you get attacked from the north by the Britons Bretons. I don't know, it really depends on which game Ready for orders. which of the games and I guess it depends on your playstyle as well like maybe you might find some things hard while well, I don't. Like me playing with Skaven, just having a shitload of uh, lots, like lots of clan rat armies and Skaven slave armies, that's not my thing, so I have, I struggle with them. So I find Skaven hard in Total War Warhammer 2, for example. Yeah, we're just gonna let them. Yes. All hands to the oars. Let them raid a little bit there. Really depends on which game and how. What's your play style as well? Like for example, what in Warhammer 2, I just can't play with the Tomb Kings. I find them. I don't. I can't play with them. I I'm shit with them. For example, even though they're considered really good, because you can have a ton of armies and they, they got no lock keep you just need to build a ton of shit stacks and swarm your enemy let's get all three of these resurrection total force uh Can't really give you an answer there. To be honest. It's, it's been a while since I played most of the Total War games as well. And I never played the, a lot of Napoleon or Empire. So I can't like even give you an answer for that. Three Kingdoms, I don't even like. 
Might be some hard starts over there as well. I mean, even when you look at the like uh, starting campaigns, uh, the game tells you like hard start, easy start, normal starts, very hard, uh, or this and that. It doesn't really matter. Depends on how good you are as a player and what you find difficult. Can you please get rid of the pirates? Not like we need the income, but still, it's really annoying. What do you want? Oh no, pirates. Let them come at us. Right, let's see. Do we have any food problems anywhere? Kind of. Minus six here. Let me just check these 15 turns. Oh, God. Seven turns for this, though. Let me just check through these, see what we need. Mail attack for sword units. Building construction time, though. Okay, let's go for the library so we can get the research faster. That's usually the best idea. But the problem is, this might just sit there and do nothing. We just stay there, I guess. Or nah, 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 nah. Let's, yeah, let's get this army to attack. It's like uh, has less experience. Move you down this way. Fleet reporting. For honor and glory. And all the total wars. Well, I mean, like I said, I find the Tomb Kings too difficult. For I, I find the Tomb Kings too difficult in Warhammer 2. I just, I just fail at them with them. I guess I'll call them the hardest faction in game. But that's just because I don't know how to play with them. Or get money. Oh well, I'll get money, but like... Do well in the campaign with them. And with all their starting positions, even the ones like... Uh, in uh, the old world. Like... In the Vortex campaign, whatever it's called, like you, you know what I mean. If you play the game, Let's see what do we need with this guy. West Roman Empire, it's not war. Attila? Well, it is. Okay, that is hard. But it's only hard if you want to keep all the provinces. See, what I usually do is just uh, demolish most of the stuff. In the territories you can't hold and just ha hold down to Italy, Carthage, and maybe the peninsula here, the African north. Maybe some cities in Spain. But it is the hardest campaign if you want to hold on to everything you start with, which is uh, kind of impossible. You can't really hold on to everything, but that's the point, you know. Just demolish all the stuff and you're gonna be... Th that campaign is really easy if you just don't try to hold on to everything. And usually that's not what you really want to do when you start off with a big... Uh, big empire as well as like the eastern one. 
I mean, just let go a couple of a couple of promises. You should be fine. And also go back to paganism. That makes things so much easier. <laughs> so much easier. We hunger for battle. You could do that at some point. That campaign. See what else we need for these guys. Public morale. Earnings out. Morale for bonus upkeep. Attrition losses, income, charge bonus for all units. We don't actually. Eh, do we need that? Uh, let's get the upkeep first. And let's get the. Corridor. Let's get the morale bonus. what I mean it like depends on your play style if you want to let a couple of regions go in total war Attila as a western empire then you're fine if you want to hold on to everything it's almost impossible like you really have to get lucky with what the AI does and what you do you hold on to everything as you said mm. Let's go with the, let's see what's here. Waiting enemy. No, no. Speed for all units would be good. Alright, let's get this one. Ignition, no. Munition, as, as it were. I think I want to get speed for all units. Well, yeah, it's doing defensive battle. Okay, that should be our go-to setup for the generals. Your orders. Even these guys, got, the, yeah, even these guys got some experience. Well, morale authority. Guess let's go for banditry. That's kind of. The kind of stuff he needs. God, this province is really big. It has more population than... Eh, well, it doesn't have more population than Rome now. Ready for battle! At your command! March! And turns. Oh Jesus! Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm just gonna wreck this and uh, build a new. Much faster that way. I wish that uh, in this game it had actually told you how many like provinces does. Ooh. Maybe we can get the trade agreement there. How many provinces do they have left? Come, my friend, speak. We are men of words. Yes, my friend. Let's get the non-aggression pact with them. Honest terms that I accept and will. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please. We have to fight to Hans's Western Empire. Uh, well, it's... I mean, if you need to hold on to Italy, all we basically need to do is garrison the couple of, like, the northern cities a little bit. Like, I mean, uh, the AI in that game is still, like, shit. They won't actually ins Well, I guess the Huns do bring catapults as well. That might be an issue. I mean, there are ways to deal with them. I think I'll, I'll play Attila with the... Imperium Praetoria mod, I think, at some point. Which you start off in Sicily and in, uh, sp well, Sparta. It's like a, a f f fraction of Rome. 
like a faction that wants to bring back the old glory of the Romans. I'll take Italy and I'll show... Well, I'll, I'll take Italy and Western Roman. I'll take both of the Roman empires and show you how to deal with the Huns at that point. I think I'm going to do that on the hard difficulty as well. Usually what I found is... What, because I do, like, I conquered the, like, full-on empire at some point. You know, even I conquered the whole, the whole of Britain. And then I just wanted to, to get the enemy to attack me. But they just don't attack you, ever. So I literally abandoned all this, like, uh, you know, raised the settlements and sat back in Italy. And they would just never attack you. Now, once you actually move your armies out of the garrisons, when they can actually take the garrison, they start attacking your stuff. That's just the AI. They, they don't make an attack unless they are 100% sure you can't win it, like it's impossible to win. But if you, you in my I guess you can go like uh, find a way to like or find the limit on units you can wise. make for them to attack you. Like uh, maybe not have full stacks as garrison, like have a half a stack or something. You only need a couple of troops to actually hold down town if you go around and flank the enemy, because that's the way you win. You just need to flank most for the most of the time. Lion State of Carthage. I guess I could attack them and liberate them, right? How may I serve you? Ready for battle. I'll play Attila, so I'm I'm gonna have to deal with that as well. So we'll see how I deal with it. See anything to build? Not really. You level ups, never mind. Decimus, my man. You want cultural conversion here? Now let's go with uh, construction costs. Is he deployed? Yes, he is. Ready for battle. What do we need for you? The plus 15 tariffs from income from uh, from trade ta faction wide, man. Let's get these two. Like how they're sitting in on the edge right there. Oh no, a rebellion. Again. Carthage apparently did nothing. I think they're gonna attack Heralis or Sardinia now. Or uh, Alia. Probably if I have to assume. Gonna be the easier target for them at least. Oh well, thank you. I guess. Hmm, they are a client state of Carthage, but they're really acting like they're a client state of mine, right? <laughs> I guess I could move my fleets over there, so because these guys might declare war and attack it on the intern. I can just bring my fleets to deal with that. What? Why does that even fucking matter to me, game? Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, well, it takes time to like figure out what to do and how to deal with stuff. So no shame there. But the, uh, the Huns are really annoying because they they like always stay right at the end edge of your movement point, so you can't actually attack them. And they move into raid like it's they're so freaking annoying. They are the Huns. That's like the point. They're gonna be annoying and hard to deal with. Like that, that's their thing. Ready for so we're gonna let these guys we flinch. I might get blocked at some point by how many agents they have. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah look at that. Much easier to destroy things than uh, build, the, build the shit up again. Let's go food here. Are we at four with them? Nope. Actually, move you down here, and you move up there so you can replenish. At once. That path is blocked. We cannot pass here. The way is blocked. Fuck your agents, man. I can't move my troops. Jesus Christ. We're gonna move with them and attack. However you pronounce that. Looks like I didn't take the upkeep thing here. Yeah, no matter. It is an honor to serve Rome. It is an honor yes. to serve Rome indeed. I would say I want to bring two armies down here, but I don't think it's gonna. I don't think I'm gonna need them, to be honest. What's up, eh, Egypt? Actually, let's see. Do I have an aggression pack with them? Greetings, friend foreigner. Greetings. Speak, yes, I do. And I will hear your words for Pharaoh, Lord of the Nile. Looks like the Seleucids are losing. We are not known as and patient their people. Power is high enough. Egypt is actually like stronger than us at this point, apparently. I am going to declare war on these. Once we deal with the this area down here. Let me see here. Two turns, so you can sit there for a while. Okay, how many turns are we gonna take? Oh, three turns to get there. Or yeah, same shit. Even by by a fleet or via fleet. Okay, you got enough influence yet? God damn it! Can we do this? Uh, Imperium level 5. Are we at Imperium level 5? 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we're not at Imperium level 5 yet. We are gonna take. I gotta need more control. Well, that's gonna be easy enough. The Sassadin Empire is not in uh, Rome too. It is in Attila. I, th I think I did play it once in with Parthia. I played with a lot, almost all the factions in Rome to the war too. Well, all the ones I can play with, that is. Commander. 
But since this is, this is DVD, I think Para we wanna I wanna just play with them. They're gonna be the easiest. Well, maybe not the easiest, but like the one I'm most familiar with. Well, let's get this upgraded. I think it might actually be easier to play with some uh, someone like Partia. Or like any faction that's, um, you know, the land you're gonna conquer is right next to you. Because uh, you need to worry about supplies. Extra train reduces supply usage in enemy lands, reduces population. Reduced population requires requirements for replenishment, prevent attrition in desert and alpine region, and help other units with ammunition. So you do want to have a baggage train, just in case. Because, like, the further we get away from our, like, capital, the lower supply we're going to take. Empire Divided DLC. Uh, which one is that? I don't have all the DLCs, so that's the problem. I mean, I did buy the game back in the day, see if it's, it's gonna run on my PC. So maybe I did play them that, that then for a little bit. I mean, the only like uh, differences between the factions is like, what's your strong suit? So like for Realm, it's of course infantry. For the party, and it's gonna be cavalry. Well, actually, everyone besides uh, like the Phalanx factions and the Rome, it's gonna be Cav and Skirmishers for the most part. So you have to play them a little bit differently. But flanking and cycle charging is the way to win. Always. Like, for example, I do suck with Phalanx units. Well, I mean, if you... You got the Phalanx, like, holding the line. That's good. But normally, the enemy has more troops than you, so do you get the... So you get the flanked easily. And that's a problem. So even, even though I, like, pick up a bunch of uh, Phalanxes and a bunch of... Uh, like, uh, as you saw in the beginning of this playthrough, the uh, the swords units, the sword units, or the ones with axes, can help a little bit, but still. Mm. You got flanked easily. Well, but at least they have a shitload of defense, so they can hold the line forever. Oh, well, look at that. That faction joined us again. Yep, the pa party and assessments have great cav units. Heavy cav units. That's the thing, man. Let's go with civil progress. Oh no! They joined our enemy again. I am here then. Speak your words. And be sure that I find... On behalf... <laughs> That's so fucking stupid, man. <laughs> oh god. We have treaties with myself. We don't have any treaties with you. Speak, my friend. Yeah, speak, my friend. Let give me give me a trade agreement. Oh, that's so stupid. I guess let's make our way over there. Swift and silent, a shadow among shadows. Let's make sure they stand there. Stay there. Now the garrison is almost up to full here. What about here? So, Launchers, telling garrison marines. I think we're gonna need to. Actually, you just stay there for one turn. It is an honor to serve Rome. Hopefully, these are gonna attack on the end turn. I might need to move this army over there to to deal with them. Yeah, you stay there. It is an honor 
You move up here, actually. For now. The ship cannot go there. Put your backs into it, you men. Just check the race or the building. I think I might need to move those up there. These guys declare war on us so we can get some money out of them. <laughs> so they're willing to attack them on the sea, but they're not willing to take their city over there. Makes sense, doesn't it? It's like their armies want to attack me, but the game doesn't register they're actually at peace with me. Okay, look at that. They might just block my way at this point. I actually want to fight this battle. Okay, so... Let's start this. I'm gonna take a piss quicker than it's gonna load. Probably not. Of course, the AI is going out, gonna attack from one side. Oh, these are actually. Uh, look at that. I would actually like them to be phalanxes more than just spearmen. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any cap to actually just go and. Uh, like, uh, kill them all once they actually attack the walls. But what I could do. Actually, deploy the navy behind him. First things first, these sucks, so we're gonna land them there. But this is the idea anyway. I think I might, I might do that if we get the time, though. close by not really ain't gonna matter then so what did I say we want to hold the walls probably well, I mean they're only gonna come at walls 
Okay, so, well, let's just place the slingers first. Hold position. We're gonna move the infantry there. Awaiting targets. Ready for orders. Hmm. Do I want to let them in, actually? Like a little bit. So we can envelop them. Romans, ready ready for duty. I guess we're going to envelop them from the other side, anyway. up on the walls. I think they're gonna try and destroy the gatehouse as well. Okay, so as for you, flammable shot. Flammable shot. Let's start the battle. You guys. Okay, they can disembark there. Good. Our reinforcements have arrived. I don't think we're gonna be able to use the ballista to be... Eh. What's the range on them? I don't think we can use them. We can't retreat them either. That's bad. You just stay in there in the corner. You try to make it over there. crew you stay in the corner as well General ready yourself Okay it's going to take forever to these for these guys to get here Oh my god, what a mess. Uh, right, I do need to like tell him to target something else. Let's see, what's the medium spear? Very light. Guess the calves are gonna be the like biggest uh, threat. I see slingers trying to attack the fucking uh, ladders. Heavy slingers. It's range. No, 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 not melee mode. All right, because they're on the top on the walls, I can't actually tell them to not move when they fire. <laughs> 